Welcome everyone, my name is Likeits1985 and this is my review of Autobot Camshaft. Now this is a figure from the 2007 movie toy line. So it's an old figure, but the reason I got it is because this came packaged with a Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Megatron and a Walmart exclusive 2-pack. And I'm actually pretty pleased with it. It's actually a nice, simple transformation. Uh, pretty cool looking, sporty car mode. Uh, it's got uh, black on the top on the hood, and it's got a very small Autobot logo right there. And if we look at the bottom of the car, you can see there's not a whole lot of uh, parts to move around. This is actually a very simple transformation. Uh, there has, there's a gimmick right here. If you press that button, out pops this cannon. It's a kind of a bluish green translucent plastic. It doesn't fire a missile at all, it just pops out like that. Kind of reminds me of the Batmobile with the super rocket engine. That's kind of what I think about uh, when I look at this. Anyways, you just push it back in. Um, now I kind of came up with a sort of a kind of cool thing. It's not uh, nothing too fantastic, but if you actually pop up the head in car mode, like this, it to me it looks like a supercharger. So if you're uh, familiar with uh, funny car drag racing, uh, this kind of looks like a supercharger on the hood. This is actually, of course, uh, Autobot Camshaft's robot head. But, you know, if you're a car guy, uh, like I am, then this is kind of cool because, cause, like I said, it reminds me of a uh, supercharger on top of the engine block. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, Transformation-wise, really simple. What you want to do is open the doors, uh, kind of pull out like this, and you can see the arms come out like that. And then you can take the forearm and rotate it forward like that. And that's pretty much taking care of the arms and the hands. Uh, coming down here with the feet, separate the two sections here. And this middle section, which is the rocket cannon this actually swings up. So you gotta, there we go. Attach it from there. This swings up, and you want to rotate the waist around like so. And as for the feet, they come out like this. Yes, this guy does have heels, as you can see. And do the same thing over here. Bring out the heel. And then, to complete the transformation for the legs, you want to take the window here, or part of the window, rotate it like that, and you're done with the legs. Now, coming up top here, look at it from the side, you want to basically take this whole section, it swings back, and you want to swing it back until it pops into place, and you'll hear it snap into place, like that. And of course the gimmick comes out. And then you just bring down the top section here. It doesn't lock in place, so if you move the arms, it's it's going to move up like that, which is a shame. I wish it would have locked in place. That would have been nice. I'll uh, take this back section here, rotate it down, kind of forms the back of the robot. Now these doors, I mean, I've seen it like this, but I kind of like putting them back like this. Fold them in like that, you know? It's all up to your preference. Uh, I like them like that, kind of. But you can certainly go for the wing look or something like that. But uh, there he is. Autobot Camshaft in his robot mode, sporting some, uh, what do they call it, all spark blue paint apps. And the gimmick actually works. The uh, trigger mechanism is right here. So you can push on that. And out pops his cannon. So that's kind of cool. Put this back down here. Alright, so just a real quick 360 here. This is actually a really nice figure. It's an easy transformation, which is uh, you know a nice thing. Um, the only kind of gripes I have about it is one, like I mentioned before, this kind of just flaps like that. It doesn't lock in place. Um, this kind of flaps around. You can see this is kind of his uh, crotch piece, I guess, there, or a crotch guard, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the head 
barely moves. You have some articulation there. Ball jointed shoulders, uh, bend at the elbow due to transformation. Uh, the arms, or the hand that is, is on a ball joint. Uh, there's waist articulation due to the transformation, ball jointed hips, and you got a bend at the, what would be the knee there. It actually is a really nice figure. Uh, it's, it's, I, li I like it. I'm always a big fan of uh, sporty cars. Uh, so having a transformer that has that characteristic is cool. Alright. This is actually a recommended figure. Um, like I said before, it came out back in 2008. And this happened to be part of the two-pack with the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Megatron. Alright. This has been my review of Autobot Camshaft. Thank you for watching.